my name is Dezabi, and if you've never used Pro Tools before, today I'm going to show you the basics of the tools, the workspace, and the mixer, as well as show you how to get recording. Without further ado, let's get to it. Alright guys, so we're going to start at the top here, and we're going to work from left to right. I'm going to show you what all this means. It's not that complicated. It looks, it looks pretty intimidating, but it's really not. I'm going to show you. Okay, here we have our edit modes. It's uh, four choices, slip, grid, spot, and shuffle. Slip is a free-for-all, if you would like to call it that. You can select, delete, move this over, whatever you want to do. It's a free-for-all. Grid is it will snap your audio to the grid. So if you're working with a specific tempo, this is really useful. Spot is when you click the track, and it'll give you a choice of where you want to place it specifically. Shuffle, let's say you delete this, right? And you want this to meet with this. So it will automatically do that for you. Let's say we delete that, it'll move it over. And let's say we grab this and we move it to the back, it will automatically shuffle it into place. And we grab this and we place it over here, then likewise, same scenario. This section here is your zoom for audio, for MIDI, your levels of zoom. So if you click this up, click it down, it will zoom in or out. It does not raise the volume, it's just a zoom feature. Let's say you have an audio selected, your zoom toggle, you click that, it will zoom into that part that you selected, click it back out. Your regular zoom, your trim, you can trim your audio. Let's say you want to trim it to here, you just click it there, or you want to just drag it. And this is your selector tool. Select your audio. Your grabber tool allows you to grab the audio and place it wherever you like, depending on the edit mode that you are in. Don't forget that. And if you click just outside, then you can have them all activated at once. So if you go to the top of the, of the track here, it's going to be the selector. You go down, it's going to be the grabber. And when you move this way, it's going to be the trimmer. So this is a very useful feature. The scrubber allows you to click and drag. And as you're dragging, hold it. And you will be able to listen to the audio as you're dragging. Your pencil tool allows you to draw in automation. This is your transient snap. So let's say we zoom in here. And a transient is a spike here. Now that, that's what the proper term is. If you, once you have that selected and you, let's say you click tab on your keyboard, it will go to the next detected transient. We're not going to worry about this here. This right here is your um, insertion follows playback. So I'm going to deactivate that right now. Let's say, let's play this, this track. If I stop it, it will go back to the beginning. If we activate this, it will stop and it will continue to play wherever it is that we stopped it at. There we go. I'm going to turn that off. So this here is our main count, and right now we have it to bars and beats. We hit the little drop down arrow, and we can change it to minutes, seconds, samples, and let's just keep it at bars and beats. The cursor is, is where you have your cursor on your timeline. As you drag it, you can see. Start and end is when you make a selection. Let's select it here, and let's go about yay. Now start is, it starts at 6, it ends at 15, and the length of that selection is 8 bars. This is where you have your grid, and you can turn it off, turn it back on, and then you can divide it into one bar, quarter notes, and so on. We won't discuss this button here. This is your stop, your play, your record, and you right-click it, it'll give you four options. You right-click this, it'll give you four options. Click here, it'll take you to the front of the track. Click here, it will take you to the end. And if you click here and here, you can toggle front and back. Your count off, turn it off, turn it on. How long the count off will be, you can double click that to change it here. Your count off is basically how many bars it's going to do before it actually starts recording. So you don't automatically start recording from the moment that you press play. And then if you prefer to change this, you can right click out here. And let's say we don't want the zoom, deselect that, transport, deselect that. I like to do expanded transport. So that's essentially the top here. It looked complicated, but it's, it's really not. 
Let's talk about the workspace. So here we have bars, beats, minutes, seconds, time code, samples. You can see all of that on the timeline. Tempo is 120. If you want to change the tempo, you go to event, tempo operations, tempo operations window, and you could change the tempo. If it's going to be the entire track, then you leave it at 1-1. One, one. If there's a specific part, then you can designate it from here, start and end. Here we can see our tracks in this section. It's going to be the record, input monitor, solo, mute, waveform. If you bring this down, you can edit the volume, the mute, the pan left, pan right. The little black line right there is the one that you're going to use to edit the volume. In this section here, we have inserts. This is where you're going to put your plugins. If it's an instrument track, then you're going to go ahead and put your instruments here. Your sends is where you can send to an auxiliary, a bus, for your reverbs, your delays, and just manipulate your audio a different way. IO means in and out ins and outs so we have an input this is where my microphone is connected to and it is sending it to my headphones which are output one and two over here to the right we have our timeline this is where we're going to see our audio clips now this window over here this is the tracks that we have in the session so if i right click here you're going to see i can hide hide make inactive there are multiple choices so even if we hide it we're going to still see it here and we can bring it back in okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the mixer window I know you can't see it up here but you're gonna go to window mix and this is our mixer window it's essentially the same section here just uh, up and down instead of sideways and here we're gonna see the inserts the same as here sends ins and outs your automation if you're gonna group it what group it is your panning same uh, input monitor record solo mute and then you have your volume volume knobs here and then your name if you want to change that then you can go ahead and right click it and then rename and you have a lot of options here same up here if you want to edit this you don't want to see the sends or you need more then you can right click it and it'll give you more options and we have here the same tracks the same track window that's here we have it here and then your groups as well and that's essentially the mix window for today's bonus I'm gonna show you guys how to get started if you've never recorded before now let's say you have the the music ready and you need to bring it into the program and you need to create a track to record your vocal to so the way to do that is you're gonna to go to file I know you can't see it but you go to file import audio make your selection you can preview it here if you want you're going to add it. You're going to put done. You're going to do new track because it will add it to the timeline here. If you do a clip list, it will only add it over here. At the start of the session, yes. Click OK. Now you have your, your music in the, in the program. And now you need a track to record your vocal on. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to track up top. Go to new. And we're going to go with one, unless you need three or four, depending on what you're recording. And unless you have two microphones connected, it's going to be mono. And it's going to be an audio track. And it's not going to be any of these here. It's going to be an audio track in samples. And change the name here. Always label your tracks. So let's go to vocal. And here we can create a different type of track. We're not going to do that. So we're going to keep this. Go to create. Now you have your vocal track that you can record on. You have your beat. And now how do you start recording? So depending on your interface the input that you connected your microphone to you're going to choose the the proper input here the output is also depending on the interface that you're using now for you to start recording you have to activate the track by clicking the red record button here if you want to listen to yourself you're going to do input monitoring now for you to record you have to enable it here now it won't start recording until you press play. The moment you press play is when it starts recording. Now if you have the count off, remember it will give you a two bar count before it begins recording. And if you want to just, you know, go in, turn off the count off, and you're ready. I hope you guys learned something and that this tutorial was useful. Leave me a, a suggestion in the comments and I will make you a video. Thank you for watching.